this is a super quick video. I just want to explain and make sure you guys understand the difference between function notation and basically any other type of equation. So if I had an equation written out like, uh, let's say, y equals 3x plus 1, I'm going to organize those points in an xy chart or one of the options that I can organize this as an xy chart. So let's say I have um, a negative 2. Well, if I plug a negative 2 in for x, then that's going to give me a negative 6 plus 1 is a negative 5. If I did a negative 1, actually I'm going to go down and fill in my all my x's. If I put in a negative 1, that's going to give me a negative 2. If I put in a 0, that's going to give me a 1. If I put in a 1 times 3, that is 3, so that gives me a 4, and that gives me a 7. So every time I plug in an x value, I'm going to get out a y value. And that would lead to a point. In fact, this point right here is just negative 2, negative 5. And I can plot that point. And all an xy chart is is a list of points. Now let's take that over here to function notation where I'm going to remove the y and put in an f of x. But this side's still going to be the same. It's still the same equation. But now if I want to organize my points, now it's the function of x at negative 2. And that's going to be negative 5. You notice it's the same negative 2 and the same negative 5 there. And I can still make my list. And all the numbers are still going to be the exact same way. So this is basically just a different system to keep it organized. And there was basically two different people. And one person said, hey, we're going to use the system in red. And another person a long, long, long time ago said, hey, we're going to use this system in green. And now we are living with both of the systems. When you get to high school, and you're doing high school math, the green system is much more used than the red system. But you're still going to see both, you're still going to use both, and you have to know to go back and forth from both. So basically, you can keep the fact that y equals f of x. And I think the other video that you watched explained that that's not multiplication, it's, it's not even a variable, it's just a function at x. If I wanted to use another function, let's say I had a different thing going on, then I could come down here and the next one would be g of x equals, and, and this could literally be anything. I'm just going to make that. And if I was to do another one, it would be h of x equals, and that might be 7x minus 6. Who knows what it's going to be? But I can definitely have different functions. And the standard is f, g, and h, although, you know, that's just the names. You can name yours anything you want. So I hope that clears it up. I hope this video was short and sweet. If there's any questions, just let me know.